regardless of which cloud specific role you are applying for be it a cloud architect cloud admin cloud network engineer cloud data engineer for example if you can answer this question even to an extent it will actually separate you from someone who knows nothing about networking or very at a very basic level to an intermediate level and the question goes like this tell me what is the difference between subnetting and vlan and and if both are used to separate the network then why we need the both what are the differences so this question might come to you so then you have to explain it to an extent where you understand the fundamental difference between the two so this video is all about that let's understand what is subnetting what is vlan in a very crisp manner we have already made a very detailed video on subnetting so i'll put that link at the end of this video so you can watch that after this video but this is just to give you that quick summary of what's the difference so consider this a startup opens a company with three people and these three people are managing three different departments so one is managing it second is uh, managing hr and the third one is managing finance okay these three guys have opened a startup and all three are connected to switch and this particular uh, network becomes your lan okay so this is your local area network now this is okay this is okay because now whenever any device on this local area network has to broadcast a message a broadcast message is basically a message which is uh, sent to every device on that network then obviously if it, this device sends something it will be either to this device or this device. it is manageable but what if, if this startup grows to a very medium to large scale company there will be so many people so many networks so many you know so many devices coming into this one particular network okay and then managing this would be chaos and that's where that's where came the concept of subnetting the subnetting concept is this subnetting concept separates everything into manageable smaller network so that is called as subnetting it is like breaking a large piece of cake into smaller pieces so basically what you will do you will separate your hr you will separate your finance and you will separate your it whatever devices wants to talk to each other within this domain this would be one lan this would be a separate lan and this would be a third lan and this will add to managing the network better than it will also add to the security but now what you have done you have actually physically separated it using subnetting so this would be in a different subnet range this would be in different subnet range and if uh, these two subnets wants to talk then you will have a router placed in between so this router is basically working at layer 3 subnetting happens at ip address level so now this is the way you do it but for that you have to buy the router you have to have cabling uh, done properly and uh, then obviously the, these routers have its own cost that's why we came up with a smart idea that instead of in our osi layer so we have seven layers of osi i don't need to name it you have to name it we have been talking it about but let's let's talk about the last three okay so the physical the data link and the network okay so here what is your ip addresses okay and here is uh, where your uh, frames gets relayed and this is the this is your physical connection with electric signal so subnetting happens at layer 3 here somewhere here okay but what if we can make this work at layer 2 and that's where you can actually instead of separating it physically you can use a concept of vlan which is virtual lan the name suggest that we can do it virtually and how does that work let's understand so this is how vlan will segregate a different network logically not physically so this could be your hr department this is could this could be your finance and this could be your it and while all these three departments are connected to the same switch the network the broadcast domain for each of these three are different so even if they are connected to a same switch a same layer to switch they can't communicate among each other so that means that it is completely separate broadcast domain it is secure and you have the privacy you are also efficient because now you have a uh, fewer devices in one particular broadcast domain so you are not junking the network with a lot of broadcast requests so this is how uh, it works so this is a layer 2 switch now a natural question comes that what happens if vlan 10 and vlan 20 wants to uh, talk to each other now this comes under inter vlan communication so for inter vlan communication layer 2 switch alone 
will not be sufficient. Either you will need to have a multi-layer switch which works at multiple levels. So it will work at layer 2 and layer 3 as well. Or you will need a router okay, to enable it. Generally what happens that you would have a trunking uh, port here okay, which will enable a router to get connected and then it will have the inter VLAN communication uh, using a switch. Okay, so it, it has its plus and minus, okay, every uh, thing, but the best part is you can combine the both. You can combine VLAN as well as uh, subnetting to actually take advantage of segregating the network at a logical le level and wherever necessary, you can also go to layer 3 at IP addressing level and segregate the network there as well. But you understand that if you are a medium to large enterprise with so many departments floating around, you would not want to pile up a set of routers. Okay, only to make sure that your different departments are segregated. That's why it is so efficient for going with VLANs because you will have fewer devices, fewer cables, no firewall, no routers. You will be segregating everything at a MAC address level. Okay, so because we are right now at layer 2, so at layer 2 as per OSI, we have MAC address. When we go to layer 3, we become IP address. Okay, so now let's quickly summarize uh, the difference between VLAN and subnetting with a left and right comparison. So friends, let's quickly summarize the key differences between subnet and VLAN. Number one, we have already talked about it. Subnet works at layer 3, uh, network layer, whereas VLAN works at layer 2, data link layer. Subnet isolates traffic using IP addresses, whereas VLAN does it using VLAN IDs and tags. So the difference is that even if two devices are in two different subnets, as far as their VLAN IDs and VLAN tags are same, it means that uh, those two devices could, could communicate properly at a layer 2 level. Whenever it is about talking between you know two subnets, you will always need a router or a layer 3 switch. And same thing applies for VLAN. Like if you want to do inter VLAN uh, communication, you will need layer 3 switch or a multi-layer switch or a router. It, it's always smooth when the devices are in the same subnet, so they can talk easily, talk smoothly. Similarly, if the devices are in the same VLAN, within the same uh, domain, it will talk very seamlessly. It supports IP-based security, you know, access control levels and firewalls. So this comes naturally with layer 3 because we are using IP address. Wherein here, the security is primarily provided by isolating uh, the network without using IP addresses. It can be extended easily to wide area network and internet because you are uh, potentially using the router. Here, you are only limited to your local network unless you use VLAN trunking, which we talked about, where you actually connect the router and uh, you know enable the inter uh, VLAN communication and that can be extended to the internet as well. Some primary protocols used are IPv4, IPv6, TCP, UDP, BGP, RIP, OSPF, all these kind of routing protocols, everything is common in this uh, subnetting. Wherein here, because it is primarily at layer 2, the Ethernet protocol, which is the industry standard uh, for VLAN, is IEEE 802.1Q. And then you have spanning tree protocol and uh, VLAN trunking protocol. So these are some protocols which comes into play when we use VLAN. And if you want to explore more, let me know and I can make a detailed video on VLAN itself. But until next time, if you're not sure, watch, go and watch the subnetting video because it has gone to the depth of subnetting, a very interesting video. Uh, I'll link it uh, and you can watch it next. And let me know what else you want to learn because we are now moving to cloud, guys. We are moving to cloud. And uh, if we are prepared and if you are ready, then we could ace our cloud interviews. And by the way, if you are new to cloud, uh, do check the link in the description. We have a complete beginner course for AWS and that applies to any other cloud as well. So do check it out if it, if it is relevant to you. See the curriculum. It might help you get into cloud very, very quickly. So until next time, keep learning, keep sharing all your knowledge and yes, keep hustling. Bye for now.